This anti-cholesterol remedy may be the fastest way to lower creatinine levels on Earth. Taking it three times a day dropped the creatinine levels of stage 5 kidney disease patients by 13% in just 4 weeks. This home remedy I have with me here today is called Kaitosan. And yes, Kaitosan has been proven capable of lowering creatinine levels in stage 5 CKD patients. This study was published on the Journal of Pharmacy and Pharmacology, which is a prestigious, peer-reviewed scientific paper. Don't worry, I'll show you the exact dosage and how to find and use this supplement in the next part of the video, because this is even an FDA-approved treatment for various conditions, besides improving kidney health and it's 100% safe. So, this begs the question. Why hasn't my doctor told me about how kytosan can improve my kidney function? More about this later in the video. And I'll also show you how to find it for cheap. So please watch the whole video because this is one of the most incredible remedies on the market today for a lot of different reasons. Actually, you may have already heard about kytosan. So what is kytosan? Kytosan is a popular cholesterol-lowering remedy which is often used to aid weight loss. This is why it's so easy to find in supplement stores and why it is so cheap. Actually, it is derived from the exoskeletons of shellfish, chitin, which has the peculiarity of actively absorbing fats. In the past, this product was even used to detoxify water for drinking for pose. When spread upon the water surface, chitin absorbs greases, oils, heavy metals, and other toxic substances so completely that an easily removable scum forms on the surface of the water. And it does basically the same thing in the digestive tract. This is why today, kytosan is sold over the counter as a fat blocker. It binds to fat and cholesterol in the intestines, preventing their absorption. Now, what really interests us is the ability of this remedy to bind to another kind of unwanted molecule, uremic toxin. Studies have in fact indicated it can be effective in reducing creatinine levels in people with renal failure. This is very interesting. As I was saying, a 2011 study examined the effects of kytosan on 80 patients with renal failure. Half of the patients were given kytosan tablets three times a day. The result? After just four weeks, patients had a very significant reduction in creatinine levels compared with the patients in the control group. Wow! Incredible! We are talking a 13% reduction in creatinine levels here. And that's clearly a lot, especially in stage 5 patients. This can really change the lives of so many chronic kidney disease patients. So, now you may ask, why nobody ever told me about this remedy? Why my doctor never prescribed me kytosan to lower my creatinine levels? Now, what you should know about this study is that it is 10 years old already. They never did a follow-up on pre-dialysis patients. The FDA never approved this remedy as a treatment to lower creatinine. They use it on dogs though, because it works as well on their kidneys as it does on our kidneys. So, we have a remedy that is proven to work to help the kidneys improve while reducing the symptoms and it's so cheap and easy to find that people are using it to lose weight or to lower their cholesterol but it was never approved as a treatment for CKD, not even as a palliative. Why? Why the only treatment people can have is dialysis? Actually, this is not the first time I stumble upon treatments that are proven to work but are never prescribed to CKD patients. Cremizin is another example. 
Chromazine is a different toxin binder that can lower creatinine levels in kidney disease that was never approved in the US as a treatment, even if it works. Now guys, back on kytosan. I'll show you the exact dosages used to lower creatinine levels in a moment, but before we move on, I really want you to spread awareness about this treatment. Because very few people know about kytosan as a treatment for CKD. I bet many of you guys following me never heard about it, because not many efforts are being done to promote it besides for the weight loss crowd. So spread the awareness, send this video to anyone you know with kidney problems. As I always say, spreading the awareness is the best thing we can do when it comes to pushing research. People need to know. So share this video, let people know about this. Now guys, there is more about this study on kytosan I need to show you. As shocking as it may seem, lowering creatinine levels was never the aim of the study. Researchers wanted to know if they could use it to treat cholesterol levels, urea, and anemia. Yes, all this with a single remedy. And incredibly, it worked! Please, take a look! After 4 weeks, cholesterol levels of the participants dropped from 10.14 to 7.31, and this is a serious drop! Even more incredible, in 12 weeks, the cholesterol of participants was just 5.82, as you can see here. I mean, this is not even considerable high cholesterol levels anymore. It's an amazing achievement. And there have been several studies after this to confirm that kytosan actually works to lower cholesterol levels. Today, people are using this remedy even just for lowering their cholesterol. More recent study confirmed that it can be used to reduce serum total cholesterol levels by up to 42.6%. I'll show you next what are the right dosages for this remedy, because there is more. Kytosan even lowered urea levels in these kidney disease stage 5 patients significantly. Now, urea levels or BUN are not just an indicator of kidney function. They are the cause of many symptoms of advanced stage kidney disease. Uremic pruritus or itching, but also nausea, difficulty breathing, swelling, and more. Yes, this cheap remedy can treat them. If this was not enough, the treatment with kytosan even improved hemoglobin levels. No patient was administered erythropoietin during the observation period and yet their hemoglobin increased compared to the control group. This is not just a marker for anemia, it's a prediction of survival rate. How to put this together? What I want to do today is not just showing you the remedy. As I promised, I want to tell you exactly how to use it to lower your creatinine levels in 4 weeks. So, what to do if you want to try this remedy? Patients in the study I've shown you took 450mg kytosan 3 times a day before the main meals. Kytosan should be taken 30 to 60 minutes before eating allowing it to become activated so that it can absorb the fat and or toxins from the meal. Several other dosages were tested for different reasons. So today we know that doses of kytosan of 3 to 6 grams per day are perfectly safe. What you should know is that kytosan can deplete the body of certain nutrients such as calcium, vitamin D, selenium, magnesium, and other minerals. So it's better to get checked for these nutrients and eventually to supplement them if needed. Also, according to a preliminary study in rats, taking vitamin C along with kytosan might provide additional benefit in lowering cholesterol. The only precaution is for people severally allergic to shellfish and people with intestinal malabsorption syndromes. They should completely avoid this remedy. However, during the treatment period, no clinically problematic symptoms were observed. Kytosan is safe for most people when taken by mouth for up to 6 months, but results should be visible much sooner. There are no known interactions between kytosan and pharmaceuticals. 
This data suggests that kytosan might be a safe and effective treatment for kidney disease patients. If you want to try it, as usual, consult your doctor. Kytosan is not hard to find and it's very cheap. On Amazon.com, you can buy a six-week supply for about $9, even cheaper if you buy it in powder and not in pills, 250 grams, or a six-month supply will cost you only $24. Now guys, as I was saying, kytosan is not the only remedy of its kind that was never approved for CKD treatment despite being proven to work. The very egregious alternative to kytosan is cremesin or AST120. Now, the very interesting part about cremesin is that your doctor can prescribe it to you, or at least in some countries. AST120, commercialized as cremesin, is basically a magic pill that some doctors are prescribing to delay dialysis in people suffering from kidney disease in stage 4 and 5. And it works! Patients only have to take 6 pills per day to be able to delay dialysis for up to 4 years. I know this may sound too good to be true, but there's a double-blind placebo-controlled study showing significant improvement in creatinine levels after just 24 weeks of treatment with cremesin. Patients in this study also shown an improvement of uremic symptoms, nausea, pruritus, and more after just two weeks of treatment. So test subjects of this study who were all in stage 4 and 5 pre-dialysis not just had a significant improvement in kidney function in the short term, they also had their symptoms immediately alleviated. They had less nausea, itching, and bad breath in just two weeks. If this is not enough, a different study focused on the possibility for patients to delay dialysis with this treatment concluded that Coramacin delays the decline in renal function. In addition, it may delay the initiation of dialysis in progressive CKD via renal protection. So yes, get your doctor to prescribe you this if you are in stage 4 or 5 of kidney disease. This treatment is so powerful because it was specifically created to bind to uremic toxins in the organism and then expel them through the intestines, removing burden from the kidneys. So, it works in a similar way to kytosan. In fact, this treatment is also being used to treat uremic symptoms such as nausea, fatigue, troubles breathing, and itching, even in dialysis patients. The difference with kytosan is that cremesin is not a home remedy though. It's a treatment that needs prescription. If you want to know more about it, please watch this video up here. I've explained everything you need to know about cremesin. Okay guys, as usual, let me know in comment section if you need any info or clarification. I hope you enjoyed this video and as usual, a new video is coming next Friday. I really hope to see you there. In the meantime, keep taking good care of your kidneys and be good to yourself. This is all for today. Thank you for watching.